This is the Wood Warm Phoenix Firebug 8, and it is one hell of a gem. No, it's a bug. What? <laughs> they do a fire wren, a fire bright, a fire gem, fire blaze, and a fire bug. This is a bug. I wasn't scripted. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as we've heard, there are lots of different versions of this stove, um, but they're all essentially the same stove built to different sizes, other than the Fire Bright, which is the special inset version. All the freestanding versions, they do it obviously on a log store, as we can see here, but also on the, the normal legs. And um, they also do convection versions for all the freestanding uh, types. And then you can get a wood only version, as well as the multi-fuel. Now obviously the multi-fuel would ordinarily make wood burn a bit quicker but much easier to light so let's see how we get on. This being a proper multi-fuel stove we're gonna click the grate into the right place and chuck on some coal. Go fully into the coal world but we're doing multi-fuel we're stuck with a good bed of coal and then the same story as always, we chuck our larger pieces on first and, um, uh, and then slowly build up to some smaller bits of wood. And then some fire lighters in the middle of that. And uh, we'll light it up. Okay, we will close the door in this instance and then we will fully open the air underneath and above and let's see how we get on. So this is up to temperature in no time so that's nice and easy. Obviously there's a huge amount of weight here so it does take a bit of time but it holds its heat quite nicely uh, and at this point I would bring the left hand side round to fully closed and then just nudge it back and this one I bring to flat and again, just nudge it back up. And that's a good sort of cruising speed for the air. Is that for multi-fuel? Would it be different for wood? If it was wood, I would fully close the left hand and, okay. uh, and position the right hand in the same place. But with us burning a bit of coal and wood together, we've got both slightly open. Woodwarm is the only company that I've encountered where let's say you've got a woodwarm that's decades old you can send that back to them. They will completely refurbish it, bring it up to brand new standard as it was when it was first released uh, and send it back to you for its next several decades of use. So you can tell not only by its weight, but the attitude of the company that these are a really green, really recyclable, but also they're committed to making things that last. Depending on what you're burning, this stove runs at between sort of 78 and a half, 80 percent uh, efficiency. Uh, obviously, it's DEFRA approved and eco design ready. Speaking of the DEFRA approval, the kit is removable on this stove, and I did do that to sort of experiment with it. Um, and I, I mean, I, I got the stove to run all day, all night, all day whilst I'm at work uh, doing other things, and um, come back and it's still running. Uh, but the as you can see here, the key thing was it was always spotlessly clean. It, I removed the DEFRA kit and if I shut everything, you could make it all go black. But for some reason, I felt sort of in tune with this stove. I have not cleaned it once. This has been running for like two and a half weeks and we've used it a lot. And, you know, even for this review, you know, part, in part so I could say it in this review, I haven't even cleaned it at the start of this review. That's it, two and a half weeks of running, running overnight. It has run spotlessly clean and, oh man, I just love it. It's fantastic. I can't remember because sometimes when you burn overnight, it'll look a bit hazy in the morning and then you'll get it lit and it'll clean again. Is that the case with this one? No, we it ran just it, wasn't... I, I ran it overnight. It was as clean as that in the morning. This stove obviously comes with a very smart wood warm glove and a stay cool handle and stay cool controls as well and quite a neat little tool that works really well for riddling the grate and taking the ash pan out. Uh, riddling the grate on this stove is really effective. Um, obviously it has that wonderful closing mechanism that gives you a flat base for 
the best wood burning but then you can riddle it up and it's really effective and then you lift it right up so it's open for when you're burning coal based fuel that makes it a really really serious and effective coal burning stove riddle the grate shake the ashes down open the grate up burning wood loads of air and even now just that okay that and the log store i want one <laughs> watch it again that oh and the the grate open Fuel economy, let's turn it down. We obviously test fuel economy by getting the stove up to operating temperature and burning a single net of kiln dried logs. So it's still tested on logs despite being a you know, coal burning stove or multi-fuel. Uh, and this stove actually ran for 11 to 13 hours, which is a fantastic score, but also longer than the smaller wood warm that we've tested before, the fire view. Um, that's down to the accuracy and precision of these controls. Its downside is that means it needs a bit more of an experienced hand, but that accuracy and precision means that you could keep it bang on the low end of operating temperature, which translated to a longer burn and, uh, you know, perhaps lower efficiency ratings whilst burning, but a longer, more economic burn. It's obviously very toughly built so the economy of running it, servicing it is also low and it holds a lot of weight and therefore a lot of temperature. So it, even after it's gone out it's still delivering heat. Very very good score for this actually, 9 out of 10. Okay I feel slightly biased because this is my local company and I want them to be the best. <laughs> but whilst I'm looking at this stove there's a couple of points that where they, it wasn't finished quite as nicely as I'd like. On this handle mechanism here, as you can see, it's, it, it works absolutely perfectly. It just wasn't beautifully engineered. Um, I also really love the rack and pinion controls, particularly on the log store version, because I can see them. But of course, when you're putting logs in there, they're also slightly in the way. And if you jam logs in there, then they stop working. However, what Woodworm really have got right is this idea of multi-fuel. Multi-fuel is a bit of a salesman's word because it's trying to sell you this idea that it's good at both. And you don't see that in reality um, until you use a wood wall, which I've run overnight on wood. It wasn't even hard to achieve. It runs spotlessly clean with wood and coal. It's got full range of control on the, on the two controls. So we've got real choice and, and utility in what we want to achieve. Um, it performed really, really well. I also love the toughness and the Britishness uh, and I quite like the look as well. <laughs> if you like the look and you want a multi-fuel stove, if you're after accuracy, thermal mass and serious use, then this stove is a bit more costly, but you very quickly work out why once you've used it.